The second match of the night, it's going to be the tag team champions, Kane and Daniel Bryan, defending those tag team titles against the team of the Rhodes Scholars, that being Damian Sandow and, of course, Cody Rhodes. One half of the tag team champions, Kane, making his way to the ring, debuting some nice new ring gear tonight. Kane not looking happy. When is he ever? So guys, before we get going in this match, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below who you're going to be predicting to win this match as Kane setting that pyro off. Daniel Bryan now about to come to the ring. So whether or not you guys are watching this in the full pay-per-view simulation or whether you guys are watching it after I've split them up, in case you, in case you haven't seen before, basically what I do is I record the whole pay-per-view in one long, whether it's an hour and a half video, and then I split the match up individually because some people have moaned in the past that the videos are too long and that their, their computer or internet can't load the long videos up. So this way you guys who enjoy the long videos get to watch it in one long video and the guys and the guys that don't enjoy the long videos or the people that just can't get their computer to load a long video, you know, still get to watch the pay-per-view but individually. So whether you're watching it individually or as one, then thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you're going to be enjoying the show and have enjoyed it so far even though we're only one match in. Feel free to leave us some support by leaving the video a like and if you are watching us individually and you didn't realise I've uploaded the whole show then you can find the full pay-per-view simulation link in the description below so if you want to watch it in one big show rather than in parts then go down to the description click on that link and you can watch the whole hour and a half video as one but back to the pay-per-view itself Cody Rhodes one half of the Rhodes Scholars making his way to the ring with Damien Sandow coming out just before that so the Rose Scholars challenging Team Hell No, Kane and Daniel Bryan for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships and we are underway. Kane representing his team kicking off, Damian Sandow representing his Sandow surprisingly getting the early going but Kane demonstrating that power with that snap mare into the choke but Sandow too near the ropes, the big red machine though picking him back to his feet Got to say, nice match in ring gear tonight by the Big Show and Daniel Bryan. Both wearing that nice bright red colour. Damian Sandow walking into a big clubbing blow from the seven foot monster. But Sandow showing great fight. Kane into his tag team partner's corner. Kane trying to fight out of it, but Sandow does not let up. Finally gets the tag to Cody Rhodes. So the young Cody Rhodes sands moustache into the ring. Big elbow drop, a nice double team manoeuvre. So guys, what do you make of Cody Rhodes' new moustache? I'm not quite sure what I think of it myself. Kind of funny, but still not necessarily relevant to this match. But I thought I would just ask you guys, ask you guys what you thought of it. So feel free to let me know your opinions on that. Of course, as always, down below. The Kane, big Russian leg sweep onto Rhodes. Two very successful tag teams. Of course, the Road Scholars, plenty of victories under their belt, but haven't yet become the champions. So, will the Royal Rumble be their night? We're going to be finding out. Kane and Daniel Bryan now have been champions. I can't remember the exact time they were champions, but they've been champions for at least a few months now, I think, anyway. I'm sure one of you guys will correct me on that down below and feel free to do so. Let me know when they uh, originally won those championships. You could say these four guys are all kind of singles competitors, just mashed together as tag teams, which is true. But it's got to be said, both of these so-called tag teams have been pretty successful and kind of entertaining what they have been doing. I wouldn't be surprised to kind of see them continue this way for a little bit longer yet. No matter the outcome of this match, I can definitely see some kind of big triple threat tag team match at WrestleMania. 
I'm actually predicting, which I'm going to do a separate video on near the time, but I'm kind of predicting that WrestleMania is going to be a triple threat tag team championship match. So it'll be like the Road Scholars taking on Daniel Bryan and Kane and taking on the team of Sin Cara and Rey Mysterio, providing they're back on TV by that point, which I'm kind of guessing they are. Mysterio has been rumoured to be part of the Royal Rumble coming up. And I guess we will see, guys, the Rumble coming up in just a little bit on this pay-per-view. So will Rey Mysterio return to WWE TV in real life or, in, or on the pay-per-view? have to wait and find out. Not too far away, though. Cody Rhodes, big kick to Brian into the headlock. Dragging Brian out. Another tag team maneuver coming up. Cody Rhodes tags and Damian Sand out. Sand down the top rope. Double axe hand onto the shoulder. Oh, Brian with a nice reversal, sending Sandow into the Irish whip. Brian going top rope. <laughs> nice move. Made famous by Chris Jericho, or at least kind of for the mainstream WWE audience. Daniel Bryan now, who's been in this match for a little while, finally going to get the tag to his tag team partner Kane. The big red machine tagged in again. Off the ropes. Oh, nice big boot to the face of Sandow. That is one move that's not going to feel good in the morning. Backdrop. Kane for some reason going to the outside of the ring, but sand out straight after him in his traditional pink and purple and white ring gear. Probably should have thought about it more and gave Cody a nice matching ring gear. I haven't seen Cody in pink before, at least I can remember. So that probably would have been something funny to see. Maybe next time, guys. Maybe next time on the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Like I said at the start of this match, or maybe at the end of the other match, feel free to let me know your own predictions. And if you guys can get 100% correct, then you'll get a mention on next month's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. So if you're interested in kind of... I don't advertise it as a shout out, but just a mention at the top of the show, then feel free to have a go and see if you can get all the predictions correct. Almost pay per view, like I said, we've got this match, we had the World Championship match, we've got the WWE Championship match, and of course the Rumble itself, so only four matches. But in real life, I've got a feeling they may add another kind of uh, match to the main show, and I've also, I realised they were going to do Cesaro and the Miz on the pre show. But just for kind of time purposes, I haven't managed to do that match for this one. But um, feel free, guys, to predict that match as well. But in regards to getting 100% correct, you've only got to predict correct the pe the actual matches that I've been uh, doing on this pay-per-view. So just the four matches. Cody Rose on the outside now, the bigger machine firing him. Both guys doing a nice levitation tactic. <laughs> but Kane just about getting advantage. Cody Rose trying to cut the big red machine off, but Kane, the veteran, no fall on the big red machine. The big red machine stomping the crap out of Cody Rhodes, but Rhodes, of course, was son of Hall of Famer Dusty Rhodes. Trying to fight it back, but the big red machine showing his veteran instincts. Of course, Kane is a former multiple time WWE world champion. He's been IC champion, hardcore champion, of course, tag team champion. The big red machine has pretty much done it all in this business. Been with WWE since he debuted as Kane in 1997, but I think he's with WWE just before that as a couple of other little characters which didn't exactly go too well. So we'll say that Kane's been with WWE at least since 1997. So he's had a huge career in the WWE and definitely a legend. Cody going for the beautiful disaster kick, but nice reversal by Daniel Bryant avoiding it into the snap neck breaker, taking Rose down to the mat once again. What's he going for? Oh, but Cody Rhodes, nice reversal. Oh, hits it a second time though. Beautiful disaster kick. Alabama slam. A move done by his former tag team partner, former tag team champion partner, Bob Harkle Holly. Oh, crossroads. Sandow doing the right thing. Sandow getting Kane out of the way. Oh, and guys, unexpected maybe. But Cody Rhodes, after those series of amazing moves, Getting the 1 2 3 on Daniel Bryan, and guys, that means Damian Sandow, Cody Rhodes, aka the Rhodes Scholars, are our brand new WWE Tag Team Champions. What a match, and this show is not over. We've got two huge matches left.
So stay tuned for those guys. 